Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Rigar Australia. Today we're talking you through different generations of club car golf carts. Now, at the moment, we actually have three of the most popular generations of club car here with us right now. So we just wanted to talk you through each of the different models. Starting with the club car DS. Now this model goes right back to the early 80s. I want to say about 1980 this model came out and it actually ran right up to about 2013 or 2014. Now as you would expect with such a long model run there is quite a lot of differences between the earlier ones and the later ones. If you're looking at electric the earlier ones are 36 volt the later ones are 48 volt. Very easy way to spot um, a, a real early one to a real late one. Uh, the windscreen frames on the later ones like this are tapered in and the seat back is connected whereas on the earlier ones the windscreen frame is straight and it's a two-piece uh, seat back so to have a left and a right cushion now this one here as I said an, a later one it's a uh, I think it's around 2004 this one it's uh, originally 6x8 volt electric we have converted it to uh, from lead acid to lithium which is a fairly easy job in these although they do have an onboard computer which needs to be bypassed in order for the lithium to work obviously if you've got a petrol model uh, none of that applies to you you're running a uh, 290cc kawasaki petrol engine i don't think these were ever offered with fuel injection i think they were pretty much all uh, fe 290cc kawasaki petrol engines or if you're in the US, gas, but um, here in Australia, we call it petrol. So a really good golf cart and plenty around to this day for good reason. If you're shopping on a budget, there is absolutely nothing wrong with looking at the DS. They've definitely proved themselves to be a reliable and a well-made golf cart. Now the club car precedent, this here is the successor to the DS, although they did actually run alongside each other for quite a long period. So the, the precedent was released in, in 2004 and it ran up till about 2019. So there's quite a long period there where you had the option of either a DS or a precedent. Now the precedent for club car was absolutely revolutionary. It was a really big uh, step up, I guess, from the DS in a, in a lot of ways, particularly in a, a design for manufacturing state. So these are designed so that you can quite easily replace the bodies or uh, replace cosmetic parts like the bumpers you can see here if if you were to, to get any body damage on a DS the um, front body is much more difficult to remove whereas on a precedent it's quite easy to replace and unlikely to damage it given that it's got this 360 degree bumper so that was a, a revolutionary um, change from club car but they did actually face some challenges so the early club car precincts with a 4x12 volt battery setup have a bit of a reputation for not getting very long out of the batteries before they require replacing uh, so they did in around 2009 go from that 4x12 volt battery setup to a 6x8 volt battery setup a bit like a lot of DS's have and from that point on in my opinion anyway um, a much better battery setup uh, they do do run an onboard computer in the earlier ones from about 2014 they they switched from the power drive which is the larger silver um, charger that you may have seen so they switched from a power drive charger to uh, what's called an eric which is a smart charger much smaller yellow cord and uh, remove the onboard computer from the vehicle which makes them i think much much better uh, the obcs can be a little bit problematic and i'd certainly if i was looking i'd certainly be my preference would be a, a, a later eric eric one um, the early ones are still okay but if you've got the option i'd probably be looking at a post 2014 with the eric charge system now a bit like we discussed on the on the ds you can quite easily convert this to, to lithium. The earlier ones, you will need to bypass the onboard computer if you go to lithium. The later ones, you will not. So if it's an Eric one, it doesn't have an OBC and it makes that lithium conversion um, really, really easy. So that's the club car precedent. 
really popular. Uh, again, I mean, as you would expect from Club Car, very well made, very robust, very reliable. And uh, from running from 2004 up to 2019, as you would expect, plenty around. And finally, the Club Car Tempo. So the Club Car Tempo is the successor to the precedent. They did run alongside each other for a year or two, I, I believe, but fundamentally the Tempo is designed to replace the precedent. Now visually quite different, it's got a more angular and aggressive front compared to the precedent. The rear body is a little bit different too, very difficult to see but there's a, a flare in the rear wheel arch. Um, but uh, otherwise what you may or may not be aware mechanically the last of the precedents and the first of the tempos are almost identical mechanically so the same 6x8 volt battery set up in the electrics with a smart charger same motor um, very very similar mechanically if not identical now one of the major differences with the tempo is that it is actually available from new with a lithium battery pack which is uh, unique uh, compared to the other club car models it's the only one that's available from new with a lithium battery pack and uh, yeah great combination that that lithium battery pack in the later model club car tempo is a really good uh, really good package I think so the club car tempo I would expect given the long model runs of the precedent and the DS I'd say the tempo will probably remain the main club car model for, for for quite a while yet they do do another model called an onward which is more designed to be a personal transport vehicle often with a, a four seat conversion you know on the back for, for extra passengers but the tempo is probably going to be the the common or the standard sort of club car i would say for a little while yet definitely a really great golf cart i don't think club cars ever made a bad golf cart they're all they're all good and just depending on your budget you know at the lower end you're going to have the, the ds in the mid-range probably looking at a precedent and the top end the tempo can't go wrong with any of them all are uh, a really well-made quality golf cart from from club car well thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this